Someone asked me this personally. So this guy, he wants to shift to an IT role and he had no idea where to begin. But people recommending him to start with Python or people recommending him also to begin with CCNA certification or to start studying Linux. And basically, those are the top three technologies to learn for beginners, for those who are new to IT. All right, I will highlight this again and again. You can't skip CompTIA A plus certification because this is about troubleshooting hardware such as PC and printers. And I don't want you to start your career as a help desk. Avoid this route, please. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career and certification captain. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, Python programming. Here's my take on Python. It's a programming language, and not too many people can easily understand programming. And I know many network engineers are hesitant to learn Python because the reason why they became a network engineer because they are so bad at coding. And if you want to focus on programming, yeah, learn Python. Plus, you also need to learn SQL and JavaScript for uh, Node.js as well. If you're planning to go for network engineering, I will tell you honestly, Python network automation was just a hype. Not too many companies will really use DevNet. Automation, here's the thing, it's just a feature. Your network devices will run without automation. And most management team don't even understand it. So they will say, no, we won't use Python network automation, okay? Because it's a risk for them. And take note, if you're using SDN solutions or software defined networking, it's actually get reads of those manual scripting because automation is now available on those controllers, such as Arista CVP or Cloud Vision, Cisco APIC and Cisco DNAC, etc. Python can be useful for ethical hacking though, such as automating reconnaissance, creating attack payload, creating malware, etc. But again, not a requirement. You can be a cybersecurity professional even if you're not skillful in Python or other programming languages. One of the disadvantages of learning Python is you can't begin your journey with certification because there's no valuable Python certifications. Cisco Certified Network Associate or CCNA. For me, it's still the best and widely known certification out there, easily. You will have a good and solid foundation in networking from IP addressing slash subnetting, basic network connectivity, switching, routing, and also they introduce some advanced technologies such as SD-WAN, network security, network APIs, and many more. But I will tell you this again and again, CCNA is not enough. Go for F5CA or Arista ACE as a complement certifications. CCNA or network technologies is very important if you're rooting for cybersecurity and cloud administration role. You won't use much of your network skills though if you want to be a programmer slash software developers. Now, if you're rooting to work on service provider or enterprise networking or data center networks, this is definitely a good start. I also know handful of people, they started with CCNA and moved to the cloud technologies, such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, etc. Linux, for me, probably the safest technology to learn. Linux is an operating system with many function with many features. And going for certifications like Linux Plus will definitely help you start your IT career, your IT journey. And uh, learning Linux um, or Linux itself is more for server administration. But of course, it's related to networking, 
cloud computing, programming, and cybersecurity. Linux is free and open source, and uh, Linux has many available tools in many different distros. And take note of this. All of these advanced vendor technologies such as F5, Arista, VMware, Cisco Nexus, Cisco APIC, etc. all runs in Linux. Docker and Kubernetes also runs in Linux. We also have hacking tools. Okay, these are pre-built in some Linux distros such as Kali Linux, Parrot OS, and many more. All right, the disadvantage of learning Linux is actually I don't see any disadvantages at all. All right, for Linux certifications, I always recommend you to go for CompTIA Linux Plus. And after that, you may continue with your chosen path. And I have a dedicated video about it. Feel free to check the links in the description below. Okay, just to conclude this video, Linux is the safest technology to learn. Whether you go for a CompTIA Linux Plus certification or not, you have to learn it. Even if you take CCNA course and CCNA exam, they already include Linux. All right, Cisco Certified Network Associate is still the best certification out there. Go for CCNA and add Linux skills. That's mandatory. Next, Python. If you are planning to become a software developer or a programmer, go for it. Otherwise, I will be honest with you, full disclosure, you can skip Python. I know a guy who's really good at Cisco ACI. I know a guy who's really good at um, advanced Cisco or network routing. Okay, uh, one guy, network security, one guy, offensive security slash penetration testing. And uh, all right, one more. One guy is really good at Linux and Kubernetes. And all of the above mentioned, they are all successful individuals. The next question is, are they good at Python? Comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit the like button.